Okay class, today we're in section 4.1. Write linear equations in slope-intercept form. 4.1. Write linear equations in slope-intercept form. Before, you graph equations of lines. Now, you will write equations of lines. Key vocabulary. Y-intercept. Slope. Slope-intercept form. Recall that the graph of an equation in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, is a line with a slope of m and a y-intercept of b. You can use this form to write an equation of a line if you know its slope and y-intercept. Example 1. Use slope and y-intercept to write an equation. Write an equation of the line with a slope of negative 2 and a y-intercept of 5. Write slope-intercept form. And that's going to be y is equal to mx plus b. Substitute negative 2 for m, the slope, and 5 for b. So all you do is they say the slope is negative 2. So in place of that m, you put negative 2. They say the y-intercept is 5. So in place of that b, you put 5. And there you have your equation. y is equal to a negative 2x plus 5. And that's from y is equal to mx plus b. Example 2. Standardized test practice. Which equation represents the line shown? A. Y equals a negative 2 fifths x plus 3. B. Y equals a negative 5 over 2 x plus 3. C. Y is equal to a negative 2 fifths x plus 1. And D. Y is equal to 3 x plus 2 fifths. All right, now remember the equation we're working with is y is equal to mx plus b. So the slope of the line is the rise over the run, which is a negative 2 over 5, which is equal to a negative 2 fifths. All right, now how did we determine the slope? We look at two points on the line. We went from here to here, or you can go from there to there. But let's go top down. So slope would be rise, 1, 2. That would be a negative 2. And the run would be... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So our slope is a negative 2 over 5. Now remember, you could have also gone this way. You could have gone from bottom to top. If that's the case, the slope would have been 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That would be a negative 5. And going up would be 1, 2, a positive 2. Remember now, slope can be found going in both directions. Once again, all these are the same. Negative 2 over 5 or five, 2 over negative 5. Once again, how do we get that 2 over negative 5? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's negative x because we're going this way. And 1, 2. That's a positive y. But now notice a negative 2 over 5 or 2 over negative 5. Going down, 1, 2, negative 2. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's a positive 5. So this statement, this statement, this statement, and this statement are all the same. Okay, so now we've got the slope. Now we want to find the y-intercept. Well, that's easy. All you do is look at your line. Look at the blue line. Look where it crosses the y-axis. Right there's where it crosses. And what's the um, value of that coordinate? It's going to be 0, 3. So the line crosses the y-axis at 0, 3. So the y-intercept is 3. So write the slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b. Substitute a negative 2 fifths for m and 3 for b. So m, the slope, is a negative 2 fifths. b, the y-intercept, was 3. So your equation is y is equal to negative 2 fifths x plus 3. And the correct answer then would be a. Using two points. If you know the point where the line crosses the y-axis, and any other point on the line, you can write an equation of the line. Example 3. Write an equation of a line given two points. Write an equation of the line shown. So here we have a line. That's our line right there. All right. And so we're going to pick any two points on this line. Here they pick 3 and negative 1. Also 0 and negative 5. So the first thing we're going to do is calculate the slope. Well, m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. We should all know that by now. And that comes out to be a negative 1 
minus a negative 5 over 3 minus 0. Or another way you should do this so you don't get confused, label your points. For the setup that they have here, what they have here is x1, x of 1 is 0. Ne uh, y sub 1 is a negative 5. x of 2 is 3. And y sub 2 is a negative 1. Now you, you label so you don't get confused. So now you write your formula down m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now you're okay. What is the y2 value? That's negative 1. What is the y1 value? That's going to be a negative 5. So you're going to have minus a negative 5. The minus sign is in the formula. The negative 5 is the actual value of <clears throat> y sub 1. x sub 2, its value is 3. x sub 1, its value is 0. So now we do our basic math. 1 minus a negative 5. A negative times a negative is a positive. So this is really negative 1 plus 5. And then 5 minus 1 is 4. Alright, then we get 3 minus 0. That's going to be 3. So our slope is 4 thirds. Also, don't forget that even though this is labeled like x2, y2, and this is x1, y1, you could have labeled this x1, y1, x2, y2, and you still come out with the same answer. Alright, now so we found the slope. Step 2. Write an equation of the line. The line crosses the y-axis at 0, negative 5. So the y-intercept is negative 5. Crosses the y-axis at 0, negative 5. So the y-intercept is negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We count it going down, so that's a negative 5. So our equation then is going to be y is equal to mx plus b. That's the slope intercept form. And then we plug in for m, that 4 thirds that we figured out. And for b, we plug in that negative 5 that we figured out. So our equation then is y is equal to 4 thirds x minus 5. Writing functions. Recall that the graphs of linear functions are lines. You can use slope intercept form to write a linear function. Example 4. Write a linear function. Review functions. You may, you may want to review function notation before writing an equation for a function. Write an equation for the linear function f with the values f of 0 is equal to 5 and f of 4 is equal to 17. Alright, now don't forget that f of x is equal to x or f of x is equal to, uh, is equal to mx plus b. f of x is really your y. f of x is really the y. Don't forget that. So f of x is equal to x is, equal to x, is the same as saying y is equal to x. Solution. Step 1. Write f of 0 is equal to 5 as 0, 5. In other words, this is the x value that you're using. So when x is 0, your y is 5. At x is equal to 0, y is 5. And you're going to write f of 4 is equal to 17 as 4, 17. So this is your x value. right? And when f is 4, y is 17. Step 2. Calculate the slope of the line that passes through 0, 5 and 4, 7. m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So that's going to equal to 17 minus 5 over 4 minus 0. Okay, now, what they did here was they labeled all the values. So here is x sub 1 y sub 1, x2, y sub 2. So we plug in. What's the y sub 2? 17. What's the y sub 1? 5. x sub 2? 4. x sub 1? 0. So what's 17 minus 5? That's equal to 12. 4 minus 0 is equal to 4. 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. So our slope is 3, or we can say 3 over 1. Step step 3. Write an equation of the line. The line crosses the y-axis at 0, 5. So the y-intercept is 5. And that occurs because we know that the y-intercept happens only when x is 0. 
and they told us that back up here. X is 0 and Y was 5, so we know that's the Y intercept. So we write the intercept form. Y is equal to MX plus B. We substitute 3 for M and 5 for B. So we get Y is equal to 3X plus 5. So the function is f of x is equal to 3x plus 5. And don't forget, f of x is really y. So you're really saying y is equal to 3x plus 5. And this form is really y is equal to mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. Modeling real-world situations. When a quantity y changes at a constant rate with respect to a quantity x, you can use the equation y equals mx plus b to model the relationship. The value of m is the constant rate of change, and the value of b is an initial or starting value for y. Example 5. Solve a multi-step problem. Recording studio. A recording studio charges musicians an initial fee of $50 to record an album. Studio time costs an additional $35 per hour. A. Write an equation that gives the total cost of an album as a function of studio time and hours. B. Find the total cost of recording an album that takes 10 hours of studio time. Solution A. The cost changes at a constant rate. So you can write an equation in slope intercept form to model the total cost. Step one, identify the rate of change and the starting value. Rate of change M is going to be the cost per hour. Starting value B is the initial fee. Step two, write a verbal model, then write the equation. Verbal model total cost is equal to cost per hour times studio time plus initial fee. Cost, we don't know, so that's C. Cost per hour, 35. Studio time, that's going to be in hours, or T. Initial fee was $50. So our equation is going to be C is equal to 35 times T plus 50. The total cost C is given by the function C is equal to 35T plus 50, where T is the studio time and hours. B evaluate the function for t is equal to 10. So we write this equation c is equal to 35 but in place of t we're going to put 10. So c is equal to 35 times 10 plus 50 and that's going to equal to 400. So the total cost for 10 hours of studio time is $400.